Right guys, so we've got some new drivers to test today. These are the Callaway Big Bertha drivers, the 815s. So the new Alphas. Now, they brought the Alpha only really started this year and they brought two more out with some funky kind of boxing glove head covers really, which are quite cool. There's two versions to these. There's the standard version. So the Al Big Bertha Alpha 815. So massive forgiveness and there's some of the advantages which I'm going to review in this video. And then there's the double black diamond version. Double black diamonds. So that's a slightly smaller head. I'm going to talk about in a different video. So guys, check out that in the window up here. That's going to be about the double black diamond driver. Uh, right, so let's go to the normal version first. This is the Big Bertha Alpha uh, 815. Um, now, Callaway really changed the game with the first Big Bertha driver that they brought back out, the Alpha version, because they could change the center of gravity in the head by switching the weight up and down. They've stuck to that same principle. So you've got a weight in the, in the gravity core where it's got a heavier side to the weight than a lighter side. If you put it at the top of the driver, it spins less. If you put it at the bottom of the driver, it spins a little bit more. Um, and you can change that. You can tweak that. So if you're after a different ball flight for a custom fitting point of view, it's amazing, it's perfect. Obviously stuck with that same theory because that, that works really well, but they've made it better because you can actually see which way round it is now. So before you couldn't see, there's now a hole in the little screw and you can actually see which way round it is. So I've got this in the weight in the bottom of the head. So I'm gonna test that first um, and I'm gonna switch it around, maybe change a loft needed and see how it performs. Um, the differences in appeal and look is it's a much darker finish. It's a really very classic, almost, they kind of brought out the, the Steelhead Plus. The Callaway brought out the Steelhead Plus ages ago and it had that kind of almost dark blue look and that's, incorporated in this club head it looks really nice i think seems to be callaway some of the new drivers that they're bringing out they're using a lot of of old um old appeal and look that has always been successful in the past so they must have done some researching on you know what that blue on the steel head plus must have really worked because they've brought it into this head as well the difference because that's what the thing is what we're talking about the difference between this alpha and the alpha they brought out not so long ago is what they've done to the club face. So they've changed the flex of the club face. So at the bottom of the driver here, there's four, they're almost like ribs. Four, um, that's the, that is the best way of explaining it, just ribbed section here at the bottom. And they've apparently got five that's underneath the crown. Now that reduces the amount of welding that they've used on the club face. So they've stripped all that welding back to make the face a little bit more springy, a little bit more flexible. So still in the legal limits, obviously, but a little bit more flexible. Um, let's hit some shots. Let's, let's go for it. So I've got this in, this is a 10 and a half degree, but I, when I've just pre, been pre-testing it, I've had to drop it down to nine and a half when the weight's at the bottom. Uh, got it on GC2 with the simulator software. Let me just move the boxing glove out of the way. Not quite so keen on the head cover, I must admit, but that's, that's easily changeable. Uh, and I'll talk a bit more about the spec and the driver. It looks great. Love that look of the navy kind of dark blue finish. Hit some real golf balls on GC2. So what this should do is create fast ball speed, therefore hit the ball a long way. I hit that one okay. That wasn't as middle as it could be. I hit that one okay. It's not traveled mega, mega, mega far. And I must admit, this is supposed to be the forgiving head. So carry distance 253, um, spun at 2,356. That'd be quite interesting to see how that changes when I switch the weight around. I sit a bell one. I don't think that was the best ever. Ball speed 154, which I've seen better at. I probably just slightly caught it off the toe. That's better. Yeah, that was much, much better. I generally draw the ball anyway down the simulator here, so it's probably just moving a little bit left to right in the air. Better carry distance that time, so in the 2.63 range, still not mega, mega, mega far just yet. That's more like the ball speed I would expect with a more flexible face, nearer to 160. Um, let's hit one more and I'm going to change the weight of it. I'm going to change that gravity core around. Uh, it comes in the, it comes in, there's apparently there's 12 shafts now you can actually get that's, that's incorporated, you, you know, no extra cost. So I've been told. This is the speed of 565 stiff flex shaft in this one. This is the Fujikora stiff flex, uh, which is, it's a wicked shaft. It's really very, very, very good shaft. Right, let's hit one more. Yeah, 
That felt better. It feels light. It feels, yeah, really light actually. Um, similar carry distance to in the 260s again. Uh, 262, not massively maximizing for me the shot, but felt forgiving. So that, the average there, I'll show you some averages. Carry distance average was 259 for 278 and the average spin rate was 2,800. Too much, too much for me to maximize that distance. So I'm gonna do two things now. I'm gonna change the gravity core around. So the weight's gonna be at the top. I'm gonna increase the loft. You can go up two full degrees and down one degree. So I'm gonna go up one degree. I'm gonna put the gravity core at the top of the head and let's see what the difference in results are. Right, all switch round. I mean, some of these drivers now are unbelievable, aren't they? This has got one, two, three, four little screwing sections. The other two are the weights that you can move from toe to heel. So to change the direction of the golf ball a little bit, the gravity core, and then obviously the neck. So I've now changed the weight around. So now the weight is at the top, should spin less. So I've increased the loft. I've gone to 11 and a half degrees now. Um, I think this should produce better numbers. So the spin numbers we were trying to beat is 2,800 and the carry distance is 259 yards. Let's see what it does. Obviously there's no, absolutely no difference from this look now. I can't tell anything different. Let's see if I can feel much in the uh, feel. Okay, that's really performed a very, very different ball flight. Considerably higher. It's gotta be spinning less, surely that felt Felt very different off the face. Almost produced exactly the same ball figures. 2,900 spin. It's quite, quite high spin in there. I mean, that might just be, that might be me. That might be the way I'm hitting it. But that's still spinning quite high, in my opinion, at the moment. So let's go another one. It does feel good off the face. Feels really light, this driver. It feels like the club's easy to pick up club head speed on. Uh, see what the spin rate is, three, one. Not super low spinning again. Not really as low spinning as I was, I was hoping it would be. Now the double black diamond, that's got a deeper face, that might suit my spin rates better. Because you can actually move the center, you can move the center of gravity higher and even lower because it's got more depth in the face. That might suit me better because I know in the SLDR 460, I prefer the 430 version because again it spins less. Let's have another go. But this really should be spinning lower than 2,800. It's 2,900 currently. That felt good. That felt the nicest one I've hit without question. 260s again. Now, one of the things that I would say, and I, I said this with the Callaway Warbird, is I find it quite tricky, 2600, that's better spin. I find it quite tricky because of the lightness of the head, just to understand where the club head is slightly. I find it slightly harder to do that, just because for me, the club head feels like it's traveling fast. So to try and marry that up with the swing, I think just takes a little bit of practice with this club. Fastball speed, yeah, you know, one, nearly 160s, that's good. A massive amount of distance, not, not a huge, not massive amount as much as I would expect. Uh, gravity core has moved the things, the goalpost slightly, but again, not as much as it should do, to be fair. Not, even the average spin rate has, has stayed the same. Let's go one more, see if that average spin rate can reduce. I mean, that was better, 2,600. Okay, that was a nice one. That was probably the best one I've hit today. That felt good, it felt hot off the face. Carry distance again, still in the 260s. For me, that's not massive. You know, that, I'm expecting 280s with this golf club in theory. 2,800 spin again. So quite high in that spin level. So guys, for this driver, for myself, I think, I think I'm gonna see better results in the double black diamond. However, the ribbed section is doing what it promises, good ball speed. Fast off the face. It's very, very, very light, this driver. So it feels easy to generate club head speed. 
the gravity core, you, you, you know, whether it's going to do that much difference, we'll see. I'm sure in the hands of a good club fitter, I'm sure it would do. Uh, adjustability everywhere about this club looks very, very good. I think it looks better than the last version. Is it as much of an upgrade as it could have been? Who knows? Just you guys to decide. So I'm going to now check out the double black diamond. I think that's going to be producing some better results for me, definitely. Guys, check out that video up here in the corner. Do subscribe as always, comment down below and like the video, guys, and we'll see you all next time. That was the Callaway Big Bertha, the new Alpha, the 815.